Hello, good day sa inyo. This would be the fourth chapter sa atong discussion. Uh, I've heard sa mga reklamo nga taas na kayo ang oban discussion. So, I'll keep it shorter. And since naman mo'y <coughs> inyuhang reading material nga kung post na, so, at least you can, it's either you can listen to the lectures at your own, at the comfort of your own time, or you could read or you could do both at the same time no regardless wala tay reklamo ana basta ang ato is we can deliver the lecture lisod pud maghatag lang ko ninyo reference no uh lain ra pud kayo and lain ra pud if magyawyaw ra ko without reference so why not both right ana lang no if you have any clarifications th there are moments nga ga Gapost ko link for a Google Meet. No? If you have to clarify something, palibu ko kuan. Join that link if ever, and then uh, we'll sort things out. Kung unsa yung problema, unsa yung questions, kung queries at wala nito bagong tanan. Na? There's no problem with that. Well, anyway, so chapter four is all about socialization. Okay, so socialization. It's it's actually a pretty simple word if you look at it in a in a in surface level, no. You socialize, you talk. You talk uh what? You make friends, you form relationships, no. But actually in the area of uh sociology, it's a complicated process of interaction, social interaction, no. That encompasses the broad range of learning uh, the broad range of learning the roles, status, values of of the society where you belong you know? uh, it plays a very important role in an individual's development and in the history and life of every community so that you know, uh, if if uh, you if you see it as Inane, socialization is a requirement para naay culture. Without socialization, walay kultura nga ma, ma nourish or ma form for every community. Imagine you have five families uh, grouped into one tanta into one place, and then walay 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 metabo nga communication walay may tabunga interaction they would have their own they they will not be interdependent with each other what happens is that the whole the whole process of the community is defeated nga naman because walay interaction with each with each family or even with each individual no? so it's it's vital no? so learning the learning of roles dira ni mo makuha uh, I think we have discussed mid na. No, I'm really sorry wala pa na ko to nahatag ang PowerPoint ni mid, but no, uh, language play and games, no. If tan-aw na nimo, those are one uh, those are the one of the co core concepts of socialization when it comes to human interaction, no. Learning the roles, no. As when you were a child, you were playing with other children. Sayon uh, uh it's fun to see yung gadula ka but actually you're you are learning the roles no if madakpan ka ikaw na no, and so on and so forth and so you take on more roles and responsibilities no one thing that you should know is that with the social roles that we we embody as we grow up it goes with it the responsibilities together with those roles so magkabugat na siya no, and also the status and the values with each role. So, magka complicate yun siya. Of course, when you were young, you would sing, uh, okay, uh, imong, imong, imong socialization nga interaction would be your parents, your siblings, of course, and that would be very simple. Why? Because you're, you're in the four corners of your house and, and, uh, sayon ang pag socialize, right? Because you would be the center of that butanta that family but then as you grow older then you would be taking on more roles nga di na siya 
hindi na siya ginatawag na egocentric na roles but these roles are more of uh, institution centered nga mga roles no because as you grow older imong roles sa balay would roles and uh, responsibilities sa balay would also evolve no pagugas na plato no and then uh, as you grow older more responsibilities like uh, ang oras sa imong pag-uli how you behave outside uh, who your friends are maapil na siya sa roles and responsibilities no and status and the values with it no and then you grow older you get married you lahi na po di mong role lahi mo yung role as uyab lahi mong role as husband or wife and lahi na po di mong role as a father or a mother sa yung children lahi na siya and when you become an adult daghan yan mag interlap na nga roles no you would be a professional and at the same time a husband or a wife and at the same time a parent and at the same time a friend and so on and so forth no so magka broaden ang imong ang spectrum sa imong socialization magka magka flourishing ang imong personality that no and also magka complicated ang interrelated nga mga parts sa imong socialization process so na so one concept sa socialization would be the social status no uh uh, it refers to the social position of a person in a group. Uh, diri mo, diri mo sulod tong gidiscuss na tong hierarchy theory, right? If you, if you remember the hierarchy nga naagi, na na fundamental, na na simple, na complex, na fundamental, and na uh, specialized, and then na leader, na follower, and so on and so forth. No, th those are those are the hierarchies. And so in a in a in a social nga environment na ito gitawag ng status your position in a group now this position may not be may not be verbalized no? ikaw ang leader ikaw kay follower but rather as time goes on as you grow older these positions are uh, understandable na that you follow it because you know your position right so anyway you, you have two types of status they ascribe no, given determined by birth and achieved status you know. so through your effort you achieve this status why is this important because uh, for example gender and age it it helps you socialize better if you know or rather it helps you socialize better if imuhang ka socialize would be of your, of the same status if makabantay mo sa mga love stories na ginahimo sa mga sa mga television sets, ilang kasagaran, it's a very common theme. Pobre nga character 1, may in love sa dato nga character 2. And we ask nga no mana, why do they have to do that? And the answer because kasagaran sa gamin niyo manggod, kasagaran sa ga, ga form of intimate relationships are people of the same status mugina siya kasagaran no and now so for example sa achieved status no so inana and then one thing is that it could the uh, the idea of the conflicting status between pobre and dato between between pobre and dato in an intimate relationship between two people is basically uh too colorful para dili gamiton as a material sa mga creative ng mga output and so they have that no so ascribe status again gender or age no so you would for example if if you were given a choice uh say mo edad karon and then gitagan ka og kwarta sa imong parents no sige laag dito sa Robinsons pagdalaw gi sa katao imong kauban and you were given a choice imong best friend or imuhang 7 year old nga gagaw most likely you would choose your best friend no no uh not only because that's your best friend but also but most likely parehas mo og gender or age no or most likely parehas mo age so therefore parehas mo common uh, namoy common ground no and so parehas mo og uh, interests and values ninyo sa kinabuhi most likely 
similar no and you would the thing is if mo interact ta og people of younger age may tabo mong good is wala kay tay makuha nga nga benefit from it Ma, na makuha ang gagmay padulong dito sa kwan but in many cases generally wala kayo kay makuha nga something nga benefit if you interact with younger age nga bracket no because when we talk actually when we talk we are we are in it for the benefit the benefit of gained information the benefit of intimacy the benefit of uh, good relations no so inana but it happens most likely with uh, the same age range or the same achieved status that no so social role so these are your functions duties and responsibilities and behavioral expectation attached to the social status imagine you are a imagine you are a uh, a nursing student and then one day you decided nga di na ko ganan mahimong student and so you took off with the money nga pang tuition you took off and you you enjoyed your life sa lahi nga sa lahi nga siyudad yes you would enjoy it very much but would there be satisfaction the answer would be no ano man because you you go you you went out of your role within the social context sir na enjoy man ko sige fine na enjoy ka what, what if mahurot ang kwarta sige unsa naman din ka without money without everything unsa naman din ka usahay ang mabilin sa ato would be the role no that's why usahay uh, when 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 children mga minyo na magform na yung own family ang mga parents would be left in an empty nest kanang balay nga wala na wala na bata no and one thing nga ilang mamit this uh, our parents one thing nga ilang mamit sa ilang life would be the diminishing role labi na in the in the context of family because mag, magkadako man jud ka and so you would be more what more responsible and independent on your own and so dili na kay ka magsalig nila and so what happens with that is that nai feelings of diminished nga value dira sa ginikanan sa yang kaugalingon because wala na siya wala na wala na siya silbihan or rather uh ma lessen yang function so inana so roles roles are very important even with your identity like not in a social context but uh in the context of personal identity daw kay ang role daw kay ang role sa social role in right in creating the identity that you have that and and dili siya sayon dili siya sayon i dili siya sayon i create or rather dili siya sayon barugan no roles has its own expectations and responsibilities no kana that's why uh, there are young teachers nga uh, for example they have their facebook accounts and they mag share sila memes and then they would be they would be reprimanded by their employers kay you should act like a teacher and so on and so forth no? so my behavioral expectations with each role no dili pwede ani dili pwede ana but then again these expectations are not basically negative because it helps you Again, focus your behavior on a certain aspect or certain goal. It directs, it orients your behavior towards something. So, kana. So we have five types of socialization. It's actually a process. No, it's not a type, but oh, it could be seen as a type, but it's a process in itself. Why? Because uh, the thing is, ga kwanisha ga very evolved no primary socialization no you learn attitudes and values so pinaka basic na siya no? as members of a particular culture basic na siya the secondary socialization is the process of learning on what is appropriate behavior as a member of a smaller group within a larger society so it could be a tribal 
nga context no unsay appropriate behavior para sa isa ka tribe or unsay appropriate behavior para sa isa ka member of a family right so that uh, another type would be developmental socialization this would be uh, you learn skills no you learn some behaviors with your developmental nga stage no so and the fourth is anticipatory socialization the thing with anticipatory is uh, it could happen before uh, before a significant change sa role sa kinabuhay sa isa katao example would be when when you graduated high school and then you enter college but, but before ka nakasunod college you had anticipatory socialization these are the type of butanta thought process wherein you anticipate how you socialize in a different context na hindi na siya pang high school but pang college and then, so the same with like when you're done with college and then masulod na pod ka sa role sa like manrabaho no? so you anticipate something and so uh, na a subtle change in uh, values and perceptions and certain behaviors no? and lastly would be resocialization it refers to the process of discarding former behavior patterns nga naman because ni transition na ka because you've entered a different stage and so na ay gitawag nga i-discard nimo in the area of psychology if you can learn something then you can unlearn something so in the process of pre-socialization you will be unlearning some aspects sa imuhang sa imuhang kinabuhi no nga gitawag nga excuse me aspects yung kinabuhi nga that are deemed to be dili na siya di na siya important or di na siya beneficial sa imo so yun ano so importance of socialization it's this is these are actually uh, self-explanatory it's vital to culture link between culture vital to personality development and vital to sexual differentiation first is vital to culture because Socialization helps uh, nurture the culture that we have. It helps propagate the culture. How else could you spread the idea of one's culture but through socialization, through how you talk, through how you interact with other people? No, just just like when when you were young and matumog parties and ipaamin mo sa tanan no ante angko lola no. So that's a very uh, trivial thing to do, di ba? Because you don't take it to heart. Ang imuha lang is kwa, ang kamot, muamin ka, and so on. And so, that's it. But the thing with it is na-instill sa imuha ang kultura sa Pinoy of the value of respect. Labi na sa elder. And so, kana, subtle lang kayo ang, ang pag-impart sa information. So, it's vital to culture. Vital to link between cultures. Because our societies, our country, our nation is not isolated. Mangita gyud ta og interaction outside of the culture. And so the socialization process is a vital link between one culture to another. You know? And in socializing with with other cultures, what we have is uh, we help them understand our culture and they also help us understand their culture. So na and so, in the process of socialization, di lang information ang mahatag, di lang ma-bridge ang relationship. No, we also share ideas such as uh, ideas in the universal, in the culture universal such as art, music, dance, and so on and so forth. Socialization is vital to personality. Without socialization, dili ka maglisod ka develop sa personality. Take, for example, the case of uh, mm, I forgot her name. Mm. Jeannie the Feral Child. At three years old, gibutan siya sa attic, and so wala siya socialization. Wala siya na socialize nga tao. And so, when she grew up, nine years old or ten, ayat siya na discover sa mga social worker. Nga gibrisura siya sa attic de eh, by her father. Ang itabo is, di siya kabalong storya, di siya kabalong malakaw, and di siya kabalong socialize with others. And, gamay kay ang brain. And ang iyahang developmental stage is was that like of a murag, nine-month-old nga baby. Okay, wala siya socialization, wala siya ka-storya. So, yun na. 
and socialization is vital to sex role differentiation why because especially when you socialize with your parents you know the distinctions between the roles of uh, a male and a female you know between the role of a husband and a wife and so on and so forth so actually sa ila ni muna basically makuha ang mga roles sexual differentiation and then magka complicate na as your as your butanta um, social nga interaction becomes entangled with other people so kaning sexual differentiation mas ma-enhance pagid siya into a finer detail so yun ano basic ana would be kanang magdula og dolls and magdula og cars di ba so sexual differentiation or on saon pagpangihi no when you were young wala you, you did not have this in mind but you were just taught nga ang lalaki magtindog ang babae malingkod and so that's it no? so you differentiate no so another aspect in socialization would be social learning no you learn how to function how to behave no in a social setting by learning through your surroundings no? so sub processes of social learning could be imitation suggestion and competition imitation would be you imitate a certain behavior so there's a model there's a model and then you imitate the model and then after imitating the model you would be rewarded it's like mura siya og kuan mura siya gatoon kag sayaw my choreographer and so you follow the choreographer right and so that that's imitation but in a social process you imitate something you imitate your parents you, for example you imitated your uh, lalaki ka nga bata and you imitated your mother and so gibadlong kasi yung mama ayaw nak dili ka mag lipstick kay boy ka what what happens with the uh, nice sanction imong behavior right gibadlong ka dili ka maginana kay boy ka and so the imitation process na learning atong uh, part sa imitation process is that you don't imitate uh atong opposite sex no but then if imong giawat imong papa and then it appears nga nalipay imong papa gisuot suot nimo yang sapato niya uh, gisuot suot nimo yang sapatos gisuot nimo yang t-shirt and so on and so forth you acted out like your him in through imitation malipay yung papa and so na gitawag na reward in your behavior and so through imitation you learn nga uy kani akong awaton kani dili and so on and so forth you know and so also it becomes complicated as you grow older you imitate other people especially people that uh, you admire or naakay gitawag nga uh, emotional nga investment so you imitate those people it could be friends it could be uh, it could even be in yung mga in yung mga idols no through yung mga BTS ninyo kanang yes you imitate them no next is suggestion suggestion would be subtle nga subtle nga input sa isa ka sa isa ka learner no subtle lang ni siya nga input what do i mean by subtle you try to attempt to change the behavior and so you try to suggest something you try to introduce an idea sa isa ka tao and so what happens is that if they take the suggestion they would change their behavior if they don't take the suggestion then most likely they don't want to change their behavior but if ang suggestion is so compelling most likely they would be forced to change their behavior for the sake of the community so in ano so those are suggestions and most likely ang pinaka pinakauna na to nga uh, encounter with suggestion with the process of suggestion would be actually atong parents no? they, they would suggest something and then because we are we look up to them and we value them that much most likely we try to change our behavior because of them and so it's suggested and what would happen if you follow ni mong suggestion i reward and then my tabo is ma crystallize or ma permanent ang behavior because it was suggested by somebody who is significant 
muna yung gitawag nga significant others. If you remember uh, George Herbert Mead, di ba? He was the one who proposed the, or coined the term of significant others. So, since this person is significant, whatever suggestion iyang ihatag, most likely mutuo ko. And so, that. It also includes, again, inyong mga TV personalities, yung mga idol, uh, elders sa community, no? uh, priests, pastors, may nana. Imam ninyo, no? so na suggestion so you follow it. Next is competition. No, this is more of a an adult na world. No, but naman ni siya mga precursor sa when you were still young. So you compete, no, in terms of socializing. So competition is healthy, okay? Always remember that. If if somebody is competing with you, then that's a good thing. Why? Because you can learn. You can learn so much from the experience why because you will be forced to go out of your of your comfort zone and so through through socialization for example sige in a class dua mo nga maayo and so uh, competition is also happens in a subtle way wala lang murag wala lang but sa tinood ay in your mind nakipag compete na ka. So, that's with competition. And whatever it is nga results sa competition, whether you win or you fail, there will always be the experience of learning. Ngayon naman. Take for example, when you win, and so you know how to you know how to win. You know the process or the steps on how to win. But if you lose, what would happen is that uh, you will still learn something. No, you will learn from your competitor. Okay, in an de pagdaog. This is how not to fail. So in an. So functions of socialization to develop the skills and disciplines by which are needed by the individual. Yes, through socialization, the gangkag makuha ang skills and discipline. No? Take for example, pag skwila ni mo, that's socialization. Your prof uh, you socialize not only with your classmates, but with your mentors and your professors. No? So, you learn skills and disciplines. Usahay na ay mga suggestions ng inyong professors that are uh, that you take by heart. And so, you live with those suggestions. And so, and or say na kay terror nga teacher, Ngatungod sa yung kateror, you learn some skills that you actually have until even pag mo trabaho na ka. Hmm. That. To instill aspirations and values and the design for living. No. So, that. So, na design for living. Na ideal design for living. And so, through socialization, we learn how to live in a right manner or To teach the social roles which individuals must enact in a society. To act out, right? And so, you have... Somebody must teach you these social roles. These roles. And so, because without roles, again, you would be... You would be, what? Useless sa society. Without such roles, useless ka sa society. Nga naman, you would not be... Uh, you would not be giving out something back to society. If you have no roles, wala, wakay pulos. You would rather, uh, no, you'd, you'd better die na lang if you don't have any roles. Because wala kay meaning, no? Roles together with it are responsibilities. And together with the responsibilities, what? You gain meaning out of your own life. And from meaning, of course, you find purpose. Agents of socialization. So, pinaka basic would be family. Next is peer group. If tanaw ni mo nag 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 broaden nisha. First is just the family, mother, father, your sibling, and then we have the peer group. You you go out of the four corners of the home, and so you meet your peer, and so you know how to. There are 
butang ta, there are vital lessons that you learn from peer group nga di niyo malun sa family. Because most likely sa peer group, you would be on your own. And so, that, no? And because you are with them, you're more open. No? And then we have schools. This is a uh, formal, formal nga, yes, formal nga teaching, formal education. And so, Murasyag, actually, ang school, Murasyag training sa pagtrabaho, especially in college. No? Mass media, like, apil na ang internet, ang television. No? But, yung primary purpose is to enter, uh, entertain and educate it. No? So, munang, uh, sa case ni Maria Reza, no? dilip po yung good or even in ABS-7 nga case dili pwede mag-own ang foreigners og uh, stocks or dili sila pwede mag-own og mass media company sa sa Philippines ang foreigners why because sa mass media magod isa na sa pinaka basic nga medium to to mold the minds of the people kusog na siya nga tulang mass media so gamay lang actually nani sa social psychology nga even even how good imong tanaw sa isa ka tao gamay lang nga libak gamay lang nga information nga negative most likely dako ang chances nga mo sway imo hang perception towards that person especially in in the area of politics so dako kay na siyang impact in how you in how you butang tao how you perceive your social environment we have the church, yes, uh, the values of the church. No. Actually, the church is very important because isa sa makita ni mo sa societies nga na-develop is that walay societies nga na walay societies nga gadugay without a kwan, without a notion of a, of a deity or a God. How much more if you worship the one true God, right? As a nation. Workplace, yes, you would be more you would be more uh, posa. Okay, so, so workplace, you would be forced to uh, socialize in a way that's more more professional, you know, and more adult-like, you know. So, because because inani put ni nice nice expectation within the workplace. And then you learn vital skills Japan in the workplace. Socialization of gender, social cultural process. These are uh, rather social structural process. Uh, nice structures within society, and so you learn how to act like a man <laughs> or a woman based on uh, structures within the social uh, uh, context. Like family, workplace, diri ka makita og idea nga. Uh, uh, way back when nga uh, ang daghan pa police or rather lesser pa ang police nga babae and so because the social structural nga mga uh, the structures that offers offers kana nga work would be most likely pang lalaki social interactive process would be how you interact in a society and so how one interacts most likely makakuha kag ideas to how to behave as such that's why in so in many in many cases no na ay na ay cases nga maka learn they learn how to be they learn how to be uh how to be homosexuals no they learn that they were homosexuals during the time that they interacted with such people so ina and then the cognitive motivational process is one that is focused sa mind sa tao wherein sa imong mind you think like that you think as a woman or a man and so you're motivated to act as such and when you're motivated to act as such you're rewarded because of that and so what happens is that you would repeat the behavior over and over again so inana biological process of course 
no sa isa sa pinakabukat nga argument with that would be the process of which ang babae has their own biological nga process din unique sa ilaha and same sa lalaki such as the reproductive capacity sa babae wherein in the cases nga diligid kaya sa lalaki mga anak sa babae reproduction na siya ng biological process so and so that ends the chapter 4 na to i uh, hope you get something out of it so i'll see you all next time Bye.